Uh, when Alexei asked me if I had something to present at this workshop, I told him there are no new results since the last workshop. But what I could do was uh, present a kind of survey of my research was done f along the years. So this I'm going to, to spend the first 10 minutes, and then I'll pass the floor to Cesar, who will continue. Okay. So, uh, well, uh, so this is where it all begins. It was a meeting with, uh, at the time done, and PJ is uh, our, our deceased colleague, Paulo Jorge Pajleme. And we are all, all done, PJ and me, we, are, we had been classmates, as undergraduates, and then we were all colleagues at PUC. And at that time, I guess it was 79, uh, PUC had a strong topology group. And so they organized, we had a seminar where Dan and PJ were going to present some stuff they wanted to see uh, our opinion. And they presented things that were very complicated, you know, systems of nonlinear partial differential equations, but nobody knew very much about partial differential equations that, uh, that people there. And then numerical solution was even more complicated. And then they had this word picture obtained in the computer. Who was this computer? We didn't use computer. We are topologists. Uh, and there was this three legs, a uh, three legs saddle point, non-orientable. That's the picture. Uh, we all listened to that, and nobody understood very much what was being said. But finally, then Giovanni Tavares, who was a circle colleague, he had some. Rem he had one remark. Was uh, Jovan had one remark, he said, I think I've seen such a picture in work that Sotomayor is doing on lines of curvature. And that was that. To give proper credit, it was actually work, joint work by Sotomayor and Gutierrez, who was, yeah, was also, uh, was, was also had been a student of, of Sotomayor at, at Impa and his disease. Also. So that was it. Everyone went about his life. And some two or three years later, Dan came to see me and said, well, let's talk. I think there are something to be done with that. So we had regular meetings, and we talked, we talked, and Dan explained to me all about these stories about, uh, about conservation loss and shocks, or refraction, composites. Finally, it led to the, prob the problem I thought I could work at. was studying the line fields of eigenspace of DF for a given F, which is a polynomial of degree 2. So more precisely, this is where it comes from. That's, you, you all know about it. System of two conservation laws with initial data W1, W2. Uh, OK. And F being a quadratic function. Uh, solutions are so successions of rarefaction shocks and composites. And rarefactions are continuous solutions W of S, where S just S equals S over T. And this leads to this equation. And there you see it's, it's have this a matrix. So this is an eigenvalue and this is an eigenvector. So when the point varies, you see the you, we want to, to know what are the eigenvectors. So the equation is just we can write it like that if f equals f g, and if we eliminate s between the two equations, this is what we get. Ordin ordinary differential equations, not solved in the VDU, but well. Second degree polynomial, just solve it. Let's solve it, and you get, you get an equation and studied it. That's what Sotomayor and Gutierrez did. It. And I looked at that and said, this is complicated. This plus, and that's in the square root. There should be some easier way to do that. <laughs> and I talked to that to a lot of, some, some, lot of people. And then finally, uh, Alcides said, I think I've, I saw something on a paper by by Tom and, uh, and, uh, at the bulletin of the, of the Brazilian Mathematical Society. Go look at that. And there I found this very simple idea that I think goes back to Legendre, that you put z, introduce a new variable z, and then you get a surface in, in three-dimensional space, u, v, z, and in this surface you study this equation, z dv minus dv. And this simplifies things, especially if you have, if f and g are polynomials of degree two, the partial derivatives are of degree 1, so it's easy to solve either in u or in v. And this means you, you are projecting in u, uz plane or in vz plane. And, and then you can, you, you can study very nice, very easily there. And if you took f to be the gradient of a homogeneous polynomial of degree 3, 
that's the case that gives umbilic points. And the idea was to add linear terms so that f is no longer a gradient. So the umbilic expo point, point explodes in a region, the elliptic region. And this is the picture you get when you are when, uh, of the surface. This is a very nice picture, not by myself. It's by a Portuguese guy called Basto Gonçalves, who years later wrote a survey, of a survey, a survey paper on rarefaction shocks and composites, where he has done some very, very nice pictures. Uh, actually, Basto Gonçalves and Helena Reis. Uh, you see, this is the, the coincidence locus. So when you project the UV plane, this will be the boundary of, of the elliptic region. This is what you get. Mm -hmm. this, part, this is my picture, actually. Uh, Basto Gonçalves took my picture. He didn't do a nice picture. So the pity, you probably could have done this much better. This was done by hand uh, at the time. And, and this is a picture that generates the umbilic point. So it's this upstairs, it's the same picture. The, the difference that you have set of connections, and it all collapses, all this line collapses in the umbilic point. And you have these this three saddles, which, are, uh, which give this, 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 this non-orientable stuff there. OK. So after that, so, so after this writing this paper on, uh, uh, on our reflections, I said, well, yeah, wh what do we do now? So Danto said, well, let's, let's do shocks. So what are shocks? So, well, this is shocks. Given UV, shock curve is a set of points, U prime, V prime, such that Rankine going to condition is satisfied. And again, did the same, eliminate S. So these are two equations. So if you eliminate S, this is what you get. And so we said, let's choose the same idea. Instead of Z equals dV du, that's what, would, what should the natural thing should be Z equals V minus V prime over U minus U prime. Eliminate the trivial solution. Of course, if u equals u equals v u equals u prime v equals v prime, this just you have the trivial solution there. If you eliminate that, you get a three manifold in R four. That's the wave manifold, where shock curves are just the curves u v constant. Today we call them now we call them Eugonio curves, and use the same f as before. And then we could uh, characterize what the manifold is. The manifold is uh, maybe it's band times R which was foliated by Mabius bands, which was given by U constant. It was this, this U constant is fu functions like the first integrals. So in each, in each of these Mabius band, you have this line field. Uh, I guess this picture was made by my son with a small computer at the time. Yes. Yeah, he did it. <clears throat> so that was something good. Give a computer to your son. It can always be useful. At, uh, so this, this is a picture of three saddles, see? One here, one over here, and the other one over there. And S becomes just a function from M to R, and we define it sonic surface as a set of points where S restricted to the curve is critics. <coughs> In the same way, you can define what we call the Ugonio prime curves by the other U prime V prime constant and the sonic prime surface. So that was a paper. I guess that was the paper I wrote together with Scott was done. And next we moved to composites. What well, are composites? So then told me, well, just pull back for a fashion line field to the sun prime via Ugonio curves. So at this point. No way. Uh, I yeah. cannot have said that. I don't still know what the pullback is. Well, Yes, I, I, I understood. Well, this is the translation in, in my language, what you, of, of what you told me. Uh, okay. So at this point, new partner arrived, was Cesar Eskenazi, who had just finished his PhD. And we worked together in, this, uh, in, in uh, composites and all other stuff. So you see, 10 minutes, sharp. So now I will pass the floor to Cesar. Who will continue the talk? Tira aqui, Sérgio. Tira aqui, Sérgio. Tira aqui, Sérgio. Well, uh, 
Fred introduced some important, uh, but not named it, uh, some important uh, ingredient in our approach. Um, first, uh, first one was when he used it, uh, when he used a uh, uh, tone idea, he transformed uh, the initial problem in a surface, the, in a surface in a, in a tree, in, and with a differential equation. The surface is important because the picture, this picture in, is in this surface. The, we call it, uh, its surface uh, characteristic surface, where live the, the the natural live a uh, uh, locus for stud hair faction. Another important uh, element is the eliminating S. His uh, introduction the three-dimensional manifold, the wave manifold. And the Huguenot prime curve, uh, sonic, sonic prime surface, and sonic surface. Uh, for some, for same F, we get in the works, in that work, uh, shock, uh, uh, Halifaxon, no, composite, uh, the title, uh, composite Halifaxon in 2002. We get the explicit expression for the pullback and that sum and sum prime is a double cover of C. Here, w again, we're using a picture of Basho Gonçalves and Reis, uh, composed defoliation in some prime, a typical comp uh, uh, configuration of composite foliation in some prime. Bom, uh, Riemann solutions in, in studied these three basic uh, elements for complex Riemann solutions. We go to, in toward construct human solution in the wave manifold. Uh, in this important work joint with Arthur Azevedo, Dan Marquezine, Fred Palmeira, in 2010, uh, we construct these solutions, uh, local solutions. Besides the, all the introduction of all the ingredients to construct human solution, in, in, in the wave manifold, we I, I, I highlight I, I highlight two I highlight two important fact, facts. First one is with respect to the characteristic to the speed s. Characteristic splits in two two components. Uh, this curve, this is CS and CF. This is the, the boundary of this is the, a curve E, fold curve. Okay, this is the characteristic, C. Another important fact is the Lex inequalities are geometrically interpreted in that paper. Uh, for, for this, we need to state some uh, notations in, in remark. If you take a, a, a S 
he called the, the definition of Huguenot curve of uh, Fred. If you take a point, they blue in the wave manifold, Huguenot curve intersects uh, the, the characteristic in two points or is tangent along fold curve and do not intersect. Do not intersect the characteristic curve. The Rus is a point, is intersection of the Huguenot curve with the CS part of the characteristic, and the Rf is the same. Sunprite surface has the following pro pro property. Given a point in Sun Prime, uh, either uh, the, the speed is uh, the, the slow uh, uh, is the slow speed here, or the fast speed here. Okay, this is a, a characteristic split speed. This property uh, divides some prime into subsets: some prime s and some prime f. In order to, to stay lax, lax shocks, Huguenot curve is admissible if S decreases along the arc, uh, a point has uh, uh, is the speed in, at a, any point of the arc is less than the, the speed, the characteristic is slow speed. And we have the third consequence. Uh, important here is summarizing kind of the last condition is the lax conditions in N. Summarizing, we have the following. Generic admissible arc start at CS or at some prime S. Admissible arcs in CS we call it local shock. Admissible arcs start in some prime S, no local, and the generic arc end either some or at infinity. Okay, uh, this is, that is, uh, this four, uh, five uh, conclusion are the, 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 interpret the, the interpretation of the, the, the lax condition, geometric like, uh, lax condition. Now we need to, to know how, how this uh, song, song prime and characteristics are in the, the, the wave manifold, how, how do he, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, the surface divide, decompose the wave manifold? Uh, our decomposition results were obtained for the symmetric case four, only for this. Here is green is sun surface, blue is the sun prime first surface, and red is the characteristic surface. Uh, sun surface is connected uh, above characteristic and not connected uh, uh, below. The same, uh, the, the inverse case for some prime. We see that uh, there are six, above the, 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 the characteristics, there are six regions. Here, one, 
two, three, below the, 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 the bridge, four, five, six. Below the, the, the characteristic surface, we have other six. Then, uh, these three surfaces uh, decompose uh, the wave manifold in 12 regions. The question is, uh, how, where uh, there is a, 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 is there the shock, uh, shock, admissible shocks? In what uh, uh, parts of this the composition? Here are not another view. Uh, we introduced this surface, uh, magenta. It, uh, the surface is generated by Huguenot curves tangent to E, denoted by CS. We denote by CS. Uh, this surface is tangent to characteristic and tangent to the sun price surface. Along the cur sun pike fold curve. Sun prime, uh, 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 the sun prime, the sun prime surface is divided in two, in two, two surfaces, sun prime S and sun prime F, uh, separated by sun prime curve and a straight line. He, this, we have a, a some, a, a, some example. Yellow curve is the sun pine surface, uh, sun pine fold curve. A red line is the, the, the straight line, and we have sun prime S, sun prime F. It time it, we cr we cross uh, one of this curve, we try we change the the, the uh, we change sides, sun prime F to sun prime sun prime F. Schematically. We, we have uh, uh, a, a picture, some li uh, something like this. The question is, where, where is the, the, the uh, shocks, uh, um, uh, uh, shock, uh, sunk shocks? How to identify sunk shocks? According to Lattice criteria, some, some prime and C divide them into admissible or non admissible regions. There is always one side of CS where conditions one and two are satisfied. Uh, local shots. Uh, this is the, the construction. Uh, uh, what? This is the solution. What we constructed in in IM 2010. Region where the three conditions are satisfied must have some or some prime as border. Uh, Shocks, sonic shocks, or sonic lock left shocks uh, are between, the, uh, uh, between two straight lines, two vertical straight lines in the characteristic, in the, sonic, in the wave manifold, represented here by these two green lines in this schematic for, uh, uh, picture. Then we have only uh, uh, sun shocks in, in this region. The conclusion are there are three admissible regions. In 12 regions, there are three admission regions. One of them has only non-local shock. The border are CF and CS. 
tá? Then we have only uh, uh, sonic shocks. There are two other regions, regions where have CS and some prime SS borders. So they have local admissible arcs and no local admissible arcs. Local and no local arcs are separated by formed surface formed by curves through the inflection locks. In in region where we have uh, some prime S uh, we, we have local and no local shocks or uh, sonic shocks and local shocks we uh, the region is separated by the, the, the surface generated by trigonal curves through the, the, the inflection locks it's all done uh, I wish you to celebrate many other birthdays. Thank you for friendship, advice, and help at difficult times. mathematics and should never leave it as far as I'm concerned. Uh, in fact, uh, well, that's not enough. Uh, what we are talking about problems that come from reality and uh, chemistry is uh, I mean, it's, it's an important subject, both of application and inspiration. Uh, that is, when I was a boy, I used to mix things. And uh, I had the pleasure of inst in doing some real chemistry, I hope that's real, with uh, Hans. Uh, uh, I guess two final words out of those, all this mixture. Uh, I think that, uh, I, I want to say it in public, I sense there's another connection that has uh, only been broached, and that's between what uh, wave manifold uh, described by our two friends, Palmeira and Cesar Eskenazi, and uh, three parameter unfolding of planar, planar ODs. And uh, that is as Sotomayor, who has been a constant source of advice all these years uh, has been telling me this is hard 
this is requires new technology. Uh, I, I, he told me just a month ago that, okay, exploit, exploit connections. And uh, uh, I think that uh, isolated science is uh, in different areas is just a way of keeping people apart. People, sh people should be friends, both personally and professionally. That's it. Why, why do you hide there, Pedro? <laughs>